So in um, 9.3, we're going to talk about a geometric sequence. So say we have a sequence like um, uh, 1, 2, 4, 8, like that. <clears throat> well, you probably can predict the next term, right? So if you take any two consecutive terms and you do um, a division, you're, you're going to get what's called the common ratio. Okay, so I'm ahead of myself. But look at the terms here. You have 1, 1 times 2, 2 times 2, 4 times 2. The next term would be 16, then 32, right? So <clears throat> what we're doing is we're multiplying by 2 each time. So if you take two consecutive terms, 2 over 1. So take the second one and divide it by the previous one. Take these two, 16 divided by 8. You get uh, the same number, right? Here you get 2, here you get 2. You can take the 4 and the 8, 8 over 4. You're going to get 2. 32 over 16, you're going to get 2. And so we call this the common ratio, and it's symboled with R. So in our case, for this sequence, R was equal to 2. Now, R can be negative. And R can be a fraction. Um, I should say a rational number. It could be a decimal, too. Um, it can be a rational number like a fraction or a decimal, okay? All right, so what's the definition then of a geometric se sequence? Well, you have a first term, and then the next term is multiplied by r. The next term, well, it's a times r, oops, a sub 1 times r times r, but we're going to write that as a sub 1 r squared. So let me make a little bit better sequence here, oops, a sub 1 comma a sub 1 times r, a sub 1 times r squared. So what do you think the next one's going to be? a sub 1 times r cubed, and then so on and so forth. Again, you have to have a starting point. You don't have to start at 1 like I did on mine, but you could start someplace else. Okay, so that's the definition of a geometric sequence. Um,